So name, address, age, and phone number. So let's try and display the information of K. So let's say system dot out dot print ln. So I wanted to display first the name for what I wanted to display k dot get name. We are using the get name accessor here to access the name of it. Without this without this public method, there's no way we can get to this name because the name of the name the, the name field has been set to private. So there's no way we can there's no way we can set um, we can get the name okay without without you know without uh, using this method now because this method has been set to public it's available to co this code that is outside the class now this code is outside of this class so it can go ahead and use anything that is public anything that is private you can't even see what's in there directly you can't set what's in there directly without using you, you have to go ahead and use these public methods because they're public to you you can use it to see what's in here to get the name you can use it to set the name of it All right so if you try to let's say say k dot name system dot out of print k dot name and you comp uh, compile this it's going to tell you that name has private access and personal information that's true this name field has a has private access and personal information so you can just print out the name just like that it's private the only way you can print the name is to use a public method get name to get the name when you use it it's going to return the name for you because it only this has the power to do that for you because it's set to public you can use it so at the same time you can't also set let's say so comments this out you can't also set the value this way and say k dot name is equal to let's say kakra or something if you compile this now it's going to tell you the same thing name has private access and personal information you can directly change the value the only way you can change the value is if you use the public method in in the in the class which is set name to create um or to basically and you basically give it a name and to be, to change the value of, of name that's the only way because it's public if we if we set this to public to private then there's no way you can set the name of the the, the name field because part the 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 method that was supposed to help you set the name is not is private and the field is private so there's no way but because the set name method is public you can use it to change the name of the private field the private name field all right so now let's go back to what we're doing we were printing out the name under the name um column right of this header so k print uh, print out the k k dot name and then concatenate it with a tab you know what, let me just go ahead and Compile this so this this this, this yellow, yellow highlights can get 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 out. So I'm going to compile it. Okay, we have an error. Let's see. Um, name has private access. Oh, actually, yeah, I was I was <laughs> I was doing exactly what I was saying that you cannot get the name directly. So k dot get name. You we have to use the name the method. K dot get name. Okay, so now it's working. All right, so k dot get name concatenated with a tab, with two tabs, backslash t backslash t, concatenated with k dot get address you can see that's here get address concatenated with two tabs and then concatenated with k dot age right so k dot get age and then concatenated with Two tabs and then concatenated with k dot get phone number. All right. So now when I compile this and I run it, well, first of all, get age and get phone number is here. So get phone number and get age. It's returning the age and returning the phone number, and we are printing what is being returned by all these methods. Of these, of of this, of the. And we are, we are basically printing what is being returned by the methods of this particular object. Okay. All right. So let's we compile the let's run, let's print it out to see what is being displayed. So we can see that the name field is nothing because when we created the constructor, we said initialize the field of of any object that's that's created from this class. Set the name to nothing, and that's why the name has been set to nothing. Set the address to nothing. 
and that's why the address has been set to nothing. Set the age to zero, and that's why age has been set to zero. And set the phone number to this, and that's why its phone number has been set to, or my phone number has been set to this. Now, I can do the same thing. Let me just copy the same line, and then repeat it twice. Oops. And change the uh, object K to friend and family member. So let's say, let's change this to friend dot get name friend it gets address friend don't worry we'll let me let me break this somewhere here hidden enter friend dot get age and oops and then friend dot get phone number and oops did I change case <laughs> all right it's fine all right so let me just cut this it doesn't matter. I just want just want to keep the the order. I can keep it second, but it doesn't matter. All right. So, K goes up, friend goes next, and then family member. That get name. Family member that get address. Family member that get age. Let's go ahead and break it somewhere here. And then family member that get phone number. Now, when I compile this and I print it. Realize that all these values, they all have their names because that's how we define a constructor to set all these values, the, de the default values. So name has, name is empty, address is empty, age is, age is zero, phone number is, is, is the same for everyone. Anyone who, any, co any object that's created from this class is going to have these default values, right? Now let's go ahead and set user you use a mutators the setters to set the values of these and we're going to see it in here because these print statements are always getting the values for us so let's uh, after we've created the object let's start with k dot set name for example let's set the name because we have the public mutator here okay it's setting the name we're going to give it a name and it's going to set the name for that particular object of case of um, case name the case so this object k, the name folder of that object k, to whatever we set it to, and we have all these mutators k gets um which is, or which are. Sets name, sets address, sets age, and sets phone number. So we can use the mutators to, to set these values. So. So let's um let's set the name of k. So k dot sets name, let's set it to, um, Kakra. All right, and then I'm going to compile this and run it. Now, because I've set the name, when I get to the name here, the name field has been changed, so it's going to show Kakra. So when I run this, I can see that my name has been set to Kakra. Let's set the family member, okay, family member of, see, family, let's set a family member name to say something. Uh, I mean, my, my sister's name. So uh, my big sister's name, so I'll say K dot, no, not K. <laughs> Family member. Now we skipped um, friend, but don't worry. I just want to see how we have, uh, you know, randomly set set in these values. So family member dot set name, and I'm setting the name to Abba. Abba, right? So I'm going to compile this and I'm, run, I'm going to run it. And you can see that for the family members, um, name has been set over here. It can do the same thing for friend right so friend dot sets name and we can set this to one of my friends so nana right and then compile oops that, yeah friend dot set name yeah compile this and then run and we can see that the name of nana has been set we can set the address of all these fields so we can say k dot Now you can create a program that that allows the user to enter these values. So the user enter values, and then you, and then inside these parentheses you put that value in there to set the name of you know someone or you know. All right. So k let's see k dot set address because we have that we have that mutator here. Set address. So all these objects have the those methods we can use to set the address of you know the individual object. So k dot set address. Let's set it to one two three um java street or something java street 
and then let's set friend dot set address to let's say um, four five six Python Street, and then let's go ahead and compile this and see how we, what we have so far. Actually, let's before that let's add one phone number. Let's say um, family member dot set phone number to remember the phone number was a string so let's set it to um I don't know let's set it to you know the phone number we, we can actually uh, have it uh, let's see we can have it displayed in a nice way. We can modify this. It's fine. Let, let's just stick with what we have. All right. So I want it from created this way. So two, o, three. Oh, let's just use your know, regular numbers. I just say one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five. Right. And uh, oops, I was supposed to put parentheses around this. Not, not all of them. And then a hyphen here. All right. What, what am I doing? All right, so now the phone number, did I do this right? Yeah, that's fine. The phone number of this, um, the family member is going to be set to this. And let's set the age of the family member to, let's say, now the age number, remember the, um, the set age um, mutator took an int. You can see it here. Set age took an int. So we have to make sure we pass in an int. Here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in, say, um, 20, right? Now, we can we can make the program flexible. So just in case we were using the G-Option pane to ask the user to type in uh, the, the, the age, right? Now, the G-Option pane, remember, it always returns <coughs> the G-Option pane's input dialog. It always returns a string. So if, if, you, if you were using the G-Option pane for this value, you would have to convert that string to an integer before you put it here. So instead of letting the user go through all that pain, let's allow the user to be able to put a string here and 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 design design the class in such a way that it can take a string and still store an integer in the, in the value. So let's over here for the set age <coughs> for the set age um, mutator. Let's create another version of it. You can create the same. We can, you can go ahead and create the same method with the same name. But then it, the data type has to be different. So the the second set age I'm creating, it's going to accept a string h, an age, but then it's going to be a string. But the thing is, age has been defined up here as an integer. So if we try to put a string, okay, which is age given in age, it's going to complain. But we can use one of Java's wrapper classes, uh, one of the methods in Java's wrapper classes to convert the string to an integer before putting it here. So I'm going to it's going to be an integer dot pass int. We are passing whatever the user has typed to an integer before storing it in the phone number field. Alright, so we are making it flexible. We have two set age. Where is it? Oops, what did I do? Oops, oops, oops. I modified the wrong things. Let me undo and go back. I change. Alright. So um redo. Okay, so now this, this is what I have. I have to change the data type to be a string, age given, and this is what we want to go ahead and convert to an integer before storing it in age, right? So it's going to be an integer dot pass int. We are passing the age that has been given by the user as a string to an integer and storing it in age, right? So we are making our set age flexible. So when the user or when the when whoever is writing this program uh, calls the set age method, they can either pass in an integer or pass in a string, and still an integer will be stored in age. Because the first time, if they they are passing in an integer, an integer an in integer will be stored in age. If they pass in a string, the string is going to be converted to an integer before storing before it's, it's stored in age. So both ways, we are going to store an integer in age. But the thing is, we are making the program flexible. The user can put in a string or or a number, and it's still going to be passed passed into the variable the field age of that object so that's the benefits there you can create methods of the same with the same name here but then the data types have to be different 
Java is going to identify these methods by their signature, meaning the the method header, the name of the the name of the function, and then the data type int. So it sets h sets h all right, but the the data types are different. So Java sees these as two different things: int and string. When we pass a set h when, when we call the set age method and we pass in an integer, Java is going to use the setter to set the age field. When we call the set age method and we pass in a string, Java is going to use the set age mutator to set the value of the age field of that object. All right, so for family member, I'm setting the age, but for let's say friend or let's say K, I'm setting the age to be. 26, but I'm going to use a, use a string. Say 26, use a string. So it should still work. I shouldn't complain, right? Because we've handled that in the class. So when I compile this right now and I run it, all the values that we've set so far are going to be displayed. Oops. We have to just format some of the, these things. So these tabs for the phone number, the first two have to be shifted. So I'm going to remove one of the phone number fields of the first one, which is K. Move this one and remove this one. Let's compile this and see how it's looking so far. Okay, let's fix the age as well. The age. Well, let's add one more tab. Let's see. Well, first, let's, let's fix this. For the first K, for the age, let's remove one of these. It's looking good, but we need some more space here. So, for the age field, over here, I'm going to add one more tab to it. Add one more tab to get to this, and for age of age of the family member and age of the friend. Okay, and then let's shift this a bit to the right, which is the phone number of K. Okay, so yeah, it looks like you're putting back the tabs. All right, so let's see how it looks. Okay, right now it's looking good. We've set the values of most of these. So you can see that the friend Nana doesn't have an age because that's that's a default value. So we can go ahead and set the age of Nana here. Nana.setAge. And we can even use the string, the string that we all, what we just did. So that it, yeah, the program is flexible. It can either take a string or it can take a number so let's set the age to let's say 23 uh, looks like, I think that's his age or maybe 24 and then compile this oops now now dot set age um, oops did I use oh actually I, actually I didn't create an object called now I created an object called friend 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 okay so let's run this and you can see that zero has changed to 24 and Abba has been set to 20 Abba is not 20 actually did I did I say 20 anyway it's she's she's around uh, she's in her 30s not sure exactly <laughs> that's my sister but uh, you know around yeah in her 30s let's say 34 right so I'll compile it and then run it all right so th the only thing that is mis missing is the, the phone number for me and Nana my sister my sister has been set this, these are not correct phone numbers by the way let's set the address for Abba that's my that's a family member so family member uh, dot set address is going to be called it's a, it's a string so let's set it to I don't know seven eight nine um, HTML street I don't know HTML street And we can see the address has been set. We just need to shift this back a little bit, which is the age for family member. Delete one of these. Oops, I, I removed something. Let's see, age. No, this is what I wanted. So I see backslash t before that. One more of one more of these. Okay, so now it's looking good. Then we can set the phone number of let's say. Me and then um, so k dot set phone number to let's see oops friend 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. This five, six, seven, five, eight, 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 eight. You know, something like that. Put a hyphen in between just to keep the format. We can customize this in the class and make it, you know, more nice. Um, but now let's just leave it this way so we can see that my phone number has been set to this. And then with this one, we can just leave it if we want. That's going to be the default value for friend. So we can see that it's displaying the details. We are using the setters and the getters. We are using the getters to get the information, the getters or accessors to get the information. And we are using the setters or mutators to set the information. And you can see that it's working. We've created three objects, sets, we are setting and getting it. We use a constructor to set to initially set the field and we are displaying the information. Yeah, so it works. All right, if you have any questions, please um, please uh, um, comment in the uh, comment section and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right, bye-bye.